seed plants are generally broken down into two groups, non-flowering seed plants called gymnosperms and flowering seed plants or angiosperms. Gymnosperms, whose name means naked seed, evolved earlier than flowering plants. The largest group of gymnosperms are the 500 species in the division Coniferophyta. Conifers include the pine and fir trees that dominate the world's alpine forests. Other gymnosperms, such as those in the divisions Cicadophyta and Ginkophyta, have declined in their range in absolute numbers. Cicadophytes resemble the large ferns from which they probably evolved. Also like ferns, they are much more abundant in tropical and subtropical areas than in temperate ones. Most cycads are about one meter high, but can reach 20 meters. Cycads are also long live. One specimen in Australia is believed to be over 5,000 years old. Though the ginkophytes were, according to fossil records, quite widespread 200 million years ago during the Jurassic period, they are today represented by just one species, ginkle biloba, or the maidenhair tree. If it were not for human cultivation, this species too would probably be extinct today. Somewhat ironically, it is the fact that maidenhair trees can resist air pollution better than most trees that has prompted horticulturalists to cultivate it for planting in polluted urban areas. Conifers are currently the most abundant of all gymnosperms. They spread widely across the earth during the Permian period, which was much drier than the Carboniferous period that preceded it, during which ferns dominated the earth. Today, conifers predominate in northern and alpine forests where water is unavailable much of the year because it is frozen. Conifers, such as the pines, firs, and spruce, are adapted to withstanding cold, dry environments in a number of ways. First, the leaves of conifers are long, thin needles that are covered with a heavy waterproof cuticle that helps to minimize water loss through evaporation. Second, conifers, which are often called evergreens, maintain most of their leaves throughout the year, enabling them to photosynthesize and grow even during moderately cold periods when other trees are normally dormant. Third, conifers produce a resinous antifreeze in their sap that allows them to transport nutrients through their vascular system even in sub-freezing weather. It is this antifreeze that also gives conifers their characteristic piney scent. The reproductive structures and processes of all conifers are basically similar. The parent plants are diploid sporophytes, which form cones. Some cones make spores that grow into males, while other cones make spores that grow into females. Male cones are often found in clusters at the end of lower branches, while the larger, harder female cones are usually found higher in the tree. The small, delicate male cones release clouds of pollen during the reproductive season and then disintegrate. The grains of pollen often have small wing-like structures that allow the pollen to be carried long distances in the wind. Because of the tremendous amount of pollen released and the sticky resinous substances often covering parts of female cones, a percentage of pollen successfully reaches and attaches to female cones. Occasionally, the pollen may be carried between the male and female cones by insects like beetles that eat the high protein pollen of the males and the high sugar resins covering the female cones. Pollen that ends up on one of the scales of the female cones sends out a pollen tube that slowly burrows into the female gametophyte. After about 14 months, the tube finally reaches the egg within the female gametophyte and sperm from the pollen travels down the tube and fertilizes the egg. The fertilized egg develops into an embryonic plant, the seed. The completed seed is liberated when the female cone matures and its scales separate. Many conifers produce seeds that, like the pollen, have wing-like structures that can carry them long distances in the wind, but they do not develop a fruit around their seeds.